seems so strange that up till now I've lived my life like summer's countdown. Hello everyone and welcome to Unleashing the World of Music and Poetry. My name is Tammy Bowers, but everybody calls me Goldie, and I'm so happy that you are joining us for tonight's show. We have with us an amazing upcoming artist by the name of Sam Robbins that will be joining us for tonight's interview. If you've ever heard of a little show called The Voice, then you may have seen Sam um, on The Voice. He was a contestant in 2018 where he was named the new Young Jam James Taylor of the season. He also has not one but two songs that are going to be showcased uh, in an AMC Plus Christmas movie that's going to be featured on December the 2nd. So let's get us started with tonight's show. Here is that interview with Sam Robbins. And thank you for joining me today. I appreciate it and joining the viewers, especially I know it's the week of Thanksgiving and, and everybody's busy always around the holidays. So I appreciate that. So yeah, first, no, it's fine. Yeah, it's totally so, fine. so first thing, let's talk about you, of course, and let's talk about, you know, growing up. When did you, when did you find out or discover your your passion for music and, and for playing music and writing, you know, that's, that's a, that's a lot, you know, um, most people, they find that they're more drawn to playing an instrument or drawn to just singing, but you've got, you, you've got the full metal jacket here. You've got songwriting, yeah. you've got me <laughs> playing an instrument and, and you can sing. So when did all that start? Um, First off, where are you from? I'm sorry, your accent is so funny. It's awesome. Not oh. funny, but you know what I mean? It's cool. <laughs> I am from Kingsport, Tennessee. I oh, am cool. Wow. Yeah, I'm a, I'm about uh four and a half hours from from Nashville from um and a couple hours from from Dollywood, the Smoky Mountains. Yeah, born wow. and raised here. Your accent is awesome. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Usually, uh, Anyways. I don't get that, so <laughs> thank yeah. you. Well, singing, like the way you say singing is so interesting. It's so different. <laughs> it's cool. Um, thank you. Anyways, uh, so yeah, I was like, my, my parents aren't musicians at all, um, which is kind of interesting. And, and I was, they made me take piano lessons when I was like eight and I really hated it. But then I, I decided to try playing drums around that age and I got really, really, really into drums and I would play for like all through high school and middle school, I was like obsessed with playing punk drums, you know what I mean? Really loud, big, splashy, crashy stuff. Um, like obsessed with it. And then through that time, I just, I picked up a guitar. My brother sort of played guitar and I just kind of picked it up and, you know, here and there, I was like, yeah, I'll try this thing. And I got really into Bob Dylan at that time. And I got really into John Mayer, which was kind of interesting. And I don't know, over time through high school, I just kind of like, yeah, I would pick it up and try it. And um, that would lead me. And I decided to go to school for music and, and try to do that as a singer, you know, and, and yeah. Oh, wow. So you, that that's so funny. You say that you started out um, playing piano. That's what I did. I was 12 and I started playing piano when I was 12. And yeah, I kept up with that because I always said, yeah, I did not. Yeah. <laughs> so when you say you played punk rock as far as guitar, um, drums goes, so what some what are some of the bands that you used to listen to? Um, I used to love Blink One Eighty Two. They were like my biggest thing was Blink One Eighty Two. That Travis Barker and some like Green Day stuff, but it was really all in on Blink One Eighty Two and like those kinds of bands, you know. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh God, it they had such a heyday too, you know. They did. They did. They did. I, I, you know, Green Day was amazing. They, they came out, you know, and, and they just, they took over everything when they, when, yeah. when they came out, they exploded and, and they, yeah. they've got their own unique voice and unique style. And that's something I love about you. You know, you say you, <clears throat> you mentioned Bob Dylan, you know, that's so funny because as I was listening to some of your music, I could hear that. I could hear Bob Dylan. I could hear James Taylor and I, I could hear those folky, um, notes in, in your in your music so um it really does influence some of your style and and it's great because you enveloped it and made it your own so i think that's awesome so you went to um did i say you went to berkeley for yeah uh -huh. oh that's amazing 
Yeah, so, yeah. so let's talk about that and your time in Berkeley. How was that? I mean, that's amazing to be able to go to a school of that of that stature. Yeah, I mean, it was cool. I mean, I think, you know, it's like any, like music school is sort of funny to do that, you know what I mean? Because you like so do not need a degree at all to do that, you know what I mean? Um, but it was cool. I mean, especially the first few years were very intimidating, very intense, you know what I mean? And everyone you're an insecure little 18 year old and everyone is really good and everyone's better than you and everyone has more Instagram followers than you and everything. And that kind of energy, you know, but it, I learned a lot, you know, it was fun living in Boston too. It was fun. It was really cool. It was really cool. I mean, I got, especially the last few years, I got to work with some amazing teachers and do some really cool things. Really cool things. That's awesome. You know, I, I love college too. That's one thing I always, uh, because I went to college to um, for music to get a choral oh. uh, music for music education and and oh, I where'd you go That's um, cool. East Tennessee State I went local oh, cool. yeah and I yeah. and I got my master's in Milligan um, in music education um, and I, I understand you know as you're when you first start out it, it's so scary because you're you're having to adult and you're having to yeah, yeah. experiencing you're not only you're having to adult but you're having to you know you don't have mom or dad waking you up in the morning and going, Hey, it's time to get up and go to school. You, I mean, you're actually yeah, having yeah. to, you're actually having to, to, to live, um, you know, an adult life and you're having to go to college, but you also get all these great experiences. And I agree the last couple of years was, was really good for me. Cause I developed, that's when you really start honing your skills and that's when you really start yeah, developing yeah. your skills. That's what, that's what those last couple of years are for. And I, and I really enjoyed that. And, and it takes you out of the, out of your comfort zone. So if you may yeah. sing country or rock or what have you, I, I mean, I was doing opera classes, <laughs> which I love. Opera. Wow. Yeah. So, I mean, it's kind of um, like, Oh wow, this is different, you know, singing in German yeah. and French. And I'm like, wow. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> that stuff is crazy. I've just started taking voice lessons again. Um, did you yeah just in the past month it's been so helpful oh they God. are aren't they they are mm -hmm. they nobody realizes that i mean that is i mean it's you have to keep it uh, i mean you have to keep it going you have to keep training your voice yeah you know you just oh, yeah. can't let it go <laughs> i slipped a little bit you know i like obviously i can sing but it's like i definitely slipped and some things were start, i was starting to struggle a little bit with some things vocally and so I found this awesome guy in Nashville who I've just been doing it like once or twice a month with this guy. And it's been so nice. That's amazing. You know, that's so and great too. Technique, you know, it's real technique -y kind of, you know, if you mm -hmm. look at a lot of singer songwriters, they, they, they end up their vocal stuff just goes way down, you know, cause mm -hmm. it's easy to fake it when you're doing this, you know? Yeah, that's true. That's true. And, and as you, as you continue with your lessons, you'll get, you'll feel your voice get stronger and I've, and stronger. And that's what I've noticed too, that over the years that if I don't maintain that level of, of training my voice and, and going through my runs and, and, and practicing that I will lose, um, I'll go to sing a song and I'm like, Oh, that didn't, I couldn't hit that high note yeah, as well as I yeah. wanted to. It's like, yeah. Uh -oh. so, and, and for me, a lot of the stuff, like I didn't, learn about belting i didn't learn about you know what i mean like I, when you're in college the voice lessons are a little you know, like they're so fast kind of that it's hard to really get into it so i didn't really learn a lot of that stuff that the kind of basic stuff right um, so yeah i'm just getting back into it i highly recommend doing that <laughs> <laughs> no i mean obviously you know but yeah yeah. And, 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 but you're right. You're right. Everybody should always continue to train their voice or their talents or, you know, whatever they've got, they you should always yeah. uh, practice. Practice is always, always continuing. Uh, so let's talk, since this is the holidays, you've got a song coming out on Friday, a Christmas song yes. that you did. It's a duet. So let's talk about that for yes. a minute. Um, so that is really cool. That is a duet with my girlfriend who is an awesome singer and musician and songwriter and she uh she actually sang backups on my whole album like before we were even together um and she is really awesome she well we we got contacted last year by a mutual friend whose brother is was making this christmas movie um about cape cod here here in uh, new england and 
she was like, yeah, I'll put you in contact with him. He called us and said that he needs these songs for his movie. And he likes the idea that we're both from, I'm from New Hampshire. She's from Connecticut. We're both like from New England. So he was like, so write me a few songs and send them and record them. And, you know, we'll see what we can do. And then he put two of the songs in the movie, which is really cool. Um, and one of them it was the, we really like this. I mean, we like both of them, but one of them we really like. And so we re-recorded it as like a duet version of it, kind of between me and her. Because the other one, it's just her singing. Um, yeah, and it's exciting. I mean, I'm really excited about it. It's like, it's going to be really cool, I think. You know, it sounds great. And yeah. It's just, you know, <laughs> well, <laughs> that's I mean, my it, press it release is. of it. That's your press release of it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> well, yeah. It, it is exciting. And what's the name of the song? You and me on Christmas Eve. You and me. On it's Christmas like yeah, it's a sweet Christmas song, you know. It was in a Lifetime movie, you know. Oh, hey, if it made it to Lifetime, that's great. So well, it's, it's a, AMC Plus, but it's it's the same kind of energy, you know. It's the same. Yeah, sort of thing. yeah, yeah. That's true. Yeah. That's true because AMC does have a lot of the same movies that Hallmark and yeah. Lifetime has. So yeah, that's wonderful. It's a vibe. So is it already out, or is it coming out this year? The movie. The movie comes out December 2nd. December 2nd. Okay, I'm going to have to check that out then. So, yes, you and me called... and Christmas Eve. Okay. I'm yeah, the movie's actually. called um, Christmas on the Cape. Christmas um, on the Cape. Or maybe it's a Cape Cod Christmas. It's one of the two. <laughs> well, I'll put it in the description. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's everybody be, can just have, watch we it. We already watched it. It's cool. It's very cool. It's awesome to have the song on there. Both songs. <laughs> So they play it. So they play both songs throughout the movie. That is. Yeah. So the the opening song is our song, and then the one that we recorded is like in the emotional moment where they break up. You know oh, what I mean? the yeah. Um, which is fun. That is that is amazing. You know, you yeah. can sit down and watch TV and go, "Hey, that's my song. That's my song." You know, how yeah, it was cool. We're in the credits and everything. It was cool. Wow. So I'll have to look that up, but I'll put it in the description for for yeah. the viewers so they can see. Appreciate but it. That's amazing. That is so awesome. Um, and you have a new album that you're working out on, right? That's mm -hmm. um, coming up January. Is that what you said? That you've got a you've got a new so album. I'm I'm working on it in January. I'm starting you working on it in January. January. So January. Right? I'm sort of in the process of picking a bunch of songs for it, but um, yeah, because I put out an album in May um, and I feel like this next one's going to be better. Not that the bad last one is bad, but I'm really excited. You know, I'm like, it's going to be good, you know, and I'm really doing some different things and working with this awesome producer in Nashville and it's just going to be really cool and out of the box a little bit, you know, which is going to be awesome. That's great. That's great. It's always good to just because uh, to take you know an album in a different different way. Maybe you, you're not getting too far away from uh, your original content and who you are. You're just taking a little bit of a different avenue, putting a different twist yeah. on it. So I love that. And, and like I love like James Taylor, Paul Simon, those guys, and especially if you listen to a Paul Simon album, like he has many songs with different like energies in them, kind of like it's a different vibe. Like oh, this mm -hmm. one's like a weird piano shuffle one, you know, do, 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 do. and this one is like a really slow ballad thing. And then, you know what I mean? And so I like that energy that you can do it all sort of not so different. Like they all sound like him, but they're mm -hmm. kind of different avenues, you know, but it's, which is going to be interesting. Yeah. Yeah. That's just like, I, w I was talking to somebody about music and I said, you know, I said, it doesn't matter what Metallica does, you can still, you'll still, no matter what direction they go, you always know that's Metallica or that's, yeah, yeah, that's totally. Ozzy Osbourne or that's, you know, you hear that style there and it's, it's just their style that they have like five finger death punch or, you know, or the Rolling Stones. Yeah, it's yeah, a yeah. unique style. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yes, totally. And I, and I love that. I love that. So it's you, but jazzed up a little bit. So I love it. Yeah. I, mean, I feel like <laughs> I've definitely like, especially since post COVID now, well, post COVID, but um, like post vaccine COVID, I guess I, I feel I've been playing out a lot more. And so that sort of opened up. I don't know. I feel like I've found a little more of a style. Like the last album was sort of just trying, 
trying to throw together everything that I had written in the past few years and just kind of make it an album, you know, which, which is fine, you know, cause it was the first one. And now this one is a little more like focused, you know, um, which is going to be really cool. Would really you cool. label your music as folky then or country or how would you label like, your, your style? Yeah, I guess like folk, I sort of say like classic. I, I don't know. I don't really know anymore, honestly. I, yeah, I'm in the folk vein, but really I like music that isn't like, sometimes I think it's easy to sort of hide behind a genre, if that makes sense. Like, and I would do this all the time, you know, where it's kind of like, yeah, you can be a little like lazy because it's like, well, this is a country song. And so like before the listener even hears it, they know what they're listening to. You know what I mean? Like you, the way you dress, the way you talk, the way you play the guitar part. Okay. We're listening to a country song. And so like, gotcha. it doesn't like, I I'm liking more and more just trying to write music that has, it's not genre list, but kind of like what I was saying, where it's like, it's just me kind of, you know? And so it's like, if you don't like me, then you won't like the music and that's fine. You know what I mean? But if you don't like, it's not like someone who listens, oh, I love Bob Dylan is going to listen to it and be like, is going to listen to my one of my shows and be like, oh, yeah, well, this guy's a folk guy because I play harmonica and I go, burr, 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 burr. you know what I mean? Like, it's it's different than that. I don't know. Right, right. You've got your own unique style. There we go. Well, I don't know. You I'm trying to just be me. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like be sort of unafraid of oh no you can't say that in a song like why not you know why i'll say whatever i want in the song you know <laughs> yeah yeah and a lot of people are uh, well, a lot of musicians and artists now I've, I've kind of i've noticed that they don't like you said they don't hide behind a certain genre of of music that they just they play that's really i had somebody tell me he said all i do is just play he said whatever mm -hmm. comes out comes out and i was and i yeah. thought and you know hey that's good that that's yeah, great cool. you know that's yeah. cool i mean if you can just be original and be you you know and i and i love that you know we are discovering different um genres of music i will say that uh you know because yeah. uh, especially over the past 40 years look just just look at how much bluegrass and and country and folk and even rock and roll has evolved so so yeah. um yeah, i love right. it and melded together you know oh i know i know i mean i could i've, I've listened to the stones and I can hear country music, you know, you can yeah. hear that, that, that twang, you know, that, yeah, that totally, the, totally. And, and, and I mean, so it really doesn't matter, you know, people, um, people will come up with different, different strings and different notes and different riffs. And I, and I love it. I love it when I hear, when I, when I'm listening to a song on the radio and then I hear something just off the wall and I'm like, wow, where'd that come out of, you yeah, know, totally. they'll, they'll throw a blues rip in, in, in the middle of a, of a bridge. And I'm like, that's cool you know because i yeah, yeah totally yeah that's what I want that. well, you know. and you're like where did that come from so yeah. let's talk about something different you're you're about to do so you're about you're going to play a little bit of a celtic music coming up right? oh you're yeah gonna, yeah so let's talk about that i got this crazy like call basically to so there's this band that tours and they needed someone they, they tour all the time, but they do a Christmas show called Christmas with the Celts, and they tour these big theaters around the country. And they needed someone to fill in sort of as the, like, basically lead singer, guitar player. It's like two, but split between two singers. Sorry. Um, split between two singers. So I'm one of the singers, and then there's a, a female singer, and I'm the guitar player, and it's insane. And the rehearsals start next week. The first show is next week. Yeah, it's like nothing i've ever done before but you know it's fun why not um definitely out of the out of the box for me but you know it'll be great it'll be really fun yeah and you'll be able to pick up a couple a little bit of different styles and um yeah. how they play and then you can incorporate it in yours see you just keep evolving yeah. you just yeah, keep evolving i mean it's it's crazy that was part of the reason why i took because you know i don't know if i would do it if it was like a hey we're gonna do this bro country tour or something it's like yeah but like this kind of music is really intricate, intricate and like mm -hmm. hard, you know what I mean? So I'd be really interested in just like getting stuff out of the guitar parts and everything. And yeah, it's going to be cool.
Yeah, I, I have a, a, a strong appreciation for Celtic music. I, I've always appreciated it and I've yeah. loved it for, you know, for as long as I can remember. Um, and it, it's just, it, it is a different style. It is, it is much harder to play. So, um, so I can't wait to, hopefully you'll post some pictures on Facebook, maybe a video or two. Yeah. Or two. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I'd yeah. love to say, uh, make sure you post on Facebook and I'll share it on um, our channel as well. And, oh, and, and, and uh, have everybody come see you. So, so congrats with that. Yeah. Um, you're just, you're just being a busy bee this year. I saw that you, you did a little bit of a tour there for, for a couple months. Uh, uh, how was that? I, I think you won folk artist. At Careville, am I saying that right? Yeah, that city? yeah. So it's so, so it's <laughs> new. The new folk is what it's called. The at, new at folk the, at Kerrville Folk at the Kerrville Folk Festival, Kerrville. um, in Texas, and that was in May, I think, and it was virtual, which was funny. But um, so they and that there are six winners every year, um, and you get to go and play the big festival, which I did in September, which was awesome. And it's this big folk competition thing. And that was kind of cool. It like opened some, cracked some doors a little bit, you know, because it was, it's a big thing in that world. And so, I don't know, I, it was, it's, it's been interesting and I've been able to get a few more bookings and stuff. And I just want to play as much, especially now, like COVID is a little less. So I want to play as much as possible, you know, just get out there as much as possible. Right. Right, of course, of course, and 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 yeah. and because COVID has affected, you know, I've, I've I've talked to several people and musicians and and poets, and they've they've told me that they've you know that everything kind of it didn't go on hold. Everybody pretty much stayed home and wrote, you know, when they they yeah. came up with, with new music and and yes, I mean, that's what I did, yeah. And that, I mean, that's really that's what I did. I wrote, and 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 that's what a lot of people did. Um, so I, it's good to hear. And it's good to see that everything's getting back as normal as as it possibly can. Yeah, you know? yeah. And and everybody's getting back to the stage, and and because that's what that's what I missed so badly was, uh, you know, Nashville downtown was it was a ghost mine, you know, while yeah, while, yeah, in the in the beginning of of all this, and then it's finally opened back up. So, um, it's good to have that. It's just that feeling you get when you when you walk up on stage. I'm not kidding. It's it's a feeling yeah. you get. And I don't yeah, think, totally. and, and, and people don't understand. It's just, you know, the excitement of the crowd and it all, everybody coming together. It, it's just the, yeah. it, it, it's different. It's a different uh, scene now, but I think people are getting more comfortable and coming out and, and going to the venues. So, yeah. what, so what do you have planned for Thanksgiving? <laughs> I, uh, so I'm up in my parents' house right now. Um, and I am hanging out with some of my friends from here tonight. And then staying here, um, going to my girlfriend's house for a little while. Um, yeah, I'm just hanging out here and I got to go back to Nashville because the rehearsals start and then I have to leave. So oh. <laughs> I can only be here for a little while. Um, oh. But it's nice, you know, good to hang out with my mom. So, yeah. <laughs> well, good. So what's your favorite uh, Thanksgiving side dish? Um, Side dish meaning like that stuffing. Yeah. Yeah, I would that. say stuffing straight up. I I don't really like cranberry sauce like at all. Like, oh my I don't gosh. understand the concept of it at all. Me either. Okay, I don't either. I think anything that comes out a can, out of a can, and looks like the can should not be a eaten. I, I just yeah. I'm that person. <laughs> so well, I just okay. don't understand like its purpose. I'm like, you just eat it. Like you know what I mean? I, I don't know. Whatever you know, let them live. They like it. So <laughs> whatever. Yeah, I'm I'm like that too. I I I'm not. I, I don't like cranberry. I just don't. It's just, I don't know what it is. Yeah. I don't know if it's the twang of it or the, uh, it's the sourness of it. I, I don't get it, but I yeah. like it all. I'm a, I'm a foodie, so I'll, I, I've got to cook it all. So I'm going to, you know, I'll eat it all. But I think my favorite yeah. is uh, sweet potato casserole because, you never know. Never had that. Sounds what? like a Tennessee thing, maybe. <laughs> You've never had sweet potato casserole. Oh my goodness. No, I've never even heard of that, actually. Oh, good gravy. All right. You're going to have to. I know. <laughs> I'm from New Hampshire, you know. You guys have more culture down there, you know. So when you come to Nashville, I'm just going to have to drive up and meet you and get, bring you a some, yeah, I would welcome casserole. That. I would welcome that for sure. See, we do that and we do, of course, we do potato salad and, of course, deviled eggs. Everybody always does it, deviled eggs. But, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but, yeah, sweet potato casserole is the, 
is the as the southern dish for for Thanksgiving. Uh, yeah, never heard of it, but I'm sure it's great. <laughs> I'm sure it's awesome. Well, Sam, thank you so much for for joining me today. I appreciate thank it. You. It's been it's been fun. I've I've, I've really enjoyed yeah. the conversation and and learning more a little bit more about you. So, uh, look forward to watching the movie. Um, on AMC yes, yeah. Plus, and I look forward to your new album next year. And please post some videos of your of uh, will, your Celtic uh, tour coming up, and uh, I will share them on the the channel. So you I have really a appreciate it. Thank you're you. welcome. You're welcome. You have a fantastic Thanksgiving, and thank you again. I appreciate you it. Too. All right. You. Bye bye. Have a good one. Seems so strange that up till now I've lived my life like summer's countdown Waiting on the day when everything changes The sky opens and my life rearranges It's always let me down I spent 16 to 22 Trying to be in love Trying to make someone else Show me who I was And I started working Seven days a week Just to prove to my ego That it could make some money It always let me down now I'm finally feeling, finally feeling, finally feeling young. When I got single, I went off and got drunk. I tried to hit on everyone, and even when I was throwing up. I thought I'd crack the code All from getting some girl's number And you in my phone I swore that's what growing up was Now I'm finally feeling Finally feeling Finally feeling young Now I'm
You've got light blonde hair, skin like mine. Married in 1990, two kids by 95. Bible by your bed, swear Jesus knows your name. But don't think he doesn't see what you post online every day. And you say you love a good book, so why don't you take a good look at yourself? Cause there are people going through hell that we can't understand Why don't you care about them? So go on, keep on saying amen Got a good job now. You say you got there with your own hands. It's real easy to preach it when you don't have to understand that it's not saying your life's been easy, that you haven't worked for your blessings, but it hasn't been made harder by the color of your skin. And you say you love the good book so why don't you take a good look at yourself cause there are people going through hell that we can't understand why don't you care about them so go on keep on saying amen amen My trans friends brave for being alive I'm in for the Bible and for Jesus Christ I'm in for the migrants trying to find a new life I'm in for the White House and the good people still inside There are people going through hell that we can't understand Why don't you care about them? So go on, keep on saying amen That concludes our show for this evening. Thank you guys for joining us. I appreciate all your continued love and support of the channel. If you have not subscribed, then all you have to do is hit that little red subscribe button in the right hand side of the corner and you'll be notified each and every week when I upload a new video. As always, smile, stay positive, stay true, and always, always be you and stay safe. Good night, everyone. Seems so strange that up till now I've lived my life like summer's countdown, waiting on the day when 